Four months after losing her husband, the dancer shares in an exclusive interview with People how she's coping and finding new purpose by helping others who are struggling silently. It's the simple moments with her late husband, Stephen T. Witch Boss, that Allison Hawker Boss misses most. After a busy day at work, they'd often convene in the kitchen to cook dinner together. Stephen would hold my back every time I walked past him, she recalls to People in this week's issue. Then at the dining table with their daughters Wesley, 14, and Zaya, 3, and son Maddox, 7, we'd have so many random conversations, and there was so much laughter, the dancer and TV host continues. Our love was so real and so loud. We always told people our house was like a choreographed dance. On deck, 13, the beloved Ellen DeGeneres show DJ turned executive producer shocked fans and left loved ones reeling when he died by suicide at age 40. No one had any inkling that he was low. He didn't want people to know, says Allison, 35, in her first interview since her husband's death. He just wanted to be everyone's Superman and protector. Over the last few months, she's struggled to reconcile the beautiful life they built together with the pain she realizes he must have endured alone. It's been really hard because I can't understand what was happening in that moment, says Allison, who first met Stephen in 2010 when they appeared as all-stars on Fox's competition series So You Think You Can Dance. When they wed three years later, Stephen adopted Wesley, Allison's daughter from a previous relationship. Today, she still grapples with a complex web of emotions, sorrow, disappointment, love, and anger. But as she works toward a place of peace, she's fueled by purpose. Stephen brought so much joy to this world, and he deserves to be remembered as the beautiful man he was, she says of continuing his legacy. Earlier this year, she launched the Move with Kindness Foundation in his honor to support mental health initiatives. We always hear, reach out to the strongest people, and I believe in that. But I also want the messaging to be that if you're feeling low or depressed, it's okay to lean on someone else, she says. Trust that people are still going to see you as that light even in your darkest moments. Through their work, Allison and Stephen had sought to spread hope and positivity together. If I'm honest, when this happened I was really confused with what my new purpose was going to be, she says. Then I actually spoke to my friend, Andy Grammer, and I expressed to him, how am I going to still live out what I know is my purpose, love and joy, and has always been my family's purpose. She recalls. He said, Allison, it's still your purpose. It just looks a bit different now, and it's a little more depth-filled. I'll never forget that conversation because I feel like I knew it inside of me. But hearing it from a friend that I still have that purpose is helping me move forward as well. Since losing Stephen, I've had so many people, specifically men, reaching out to me, how they were so affected because they didn't realize how much they were holding onto and not expressing, she says. I found that to be a lot to hold onto at first, but then I realized I want people to feel safe talking to me and to open up and understand that we have to support each other in these moments.